You know, it's all about entertainment when I come your way every weekend right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Sit right on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky, if you're not aware yet. I'm bringing you all the entertainment stories, entertainment news that you have missed during the week. Stick and stay. I'll be right back. If you just join us, you're logged on to the Joy News channel. The show is Let's Talk Entertainment, the most credible entertainment show on TV. Now, before I move on to our first story, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for doing the watching, always sticking with Let's Talk Entertainment. I really, really appreciate you. I really, really appreciate you. Channel manager for Joy News, Emily Nyako, fantastic woman. Uh, thank you so much for everything that you've been doing for us right here on Joy News. And I'd like to say a special thank you to uh, Gospel Diva, uh, Dinah Hamilton, for my beautiful shoes that I'm wearing. Fantastic, I love it so much. I appreciate you, I appreciate everybody. Uh, you know who loves entertainment yes and let's talk entertainment is the show so uh, let's start with the comic awards let's do some laughing right now you know the 2017 is the first ever edition of the comic awards and KSM was honored that night we bring you highlights of that one right here on let's talk entertainment enjoy Kweku Sintin Mr. who was honored with the Lifetime Achiever Awards was excited about the progress made by Ghanaians in the comedy industry. Other winners were Best Comic Online and TV Show, Sri Kwakwa, Best Comic Animation, Time for Mentals, Most Promising Comedy Event went to Laugh Line, and Best African Act went to Parrot's Mouth. Best Stage Play went to Bananas and Groundnuts, Best Comic Movie went to Amati Endede, Comic Actor of the Year went to Clemento Suarez, and Comedy Event of the Year went to 1022 laughs. Promising Comedian of the Year went to Lexi, Lifetime Achiever went to KSM, and Stand Up Comedy of the Year went to DKB. Comedian of the Year also went to DKB. <laughs> All right, let's still stay on comedy and talk about Funny Face. Funny Face has, you know, a big dream. He has so many things up uh, for the kids. You know, Funny Face loves the kids. And so he says that he's trying to put up something um, Disney World like here in Ghana. Yes, he calls it a funny world. He's looking at, you know, building a Disney World here in Ghana. Dab Funny Face how he's going to be doing that he has it right here on let's talk entertainment funny face has been speaking to us my projects my kids project my new um, kids project that i'm working on now that's the most important thing that i'm doing now is a kids project uh operation uh funny world you know it's like uh, disney something that i want to do for the kids. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk hey i'm doing interview it's uh, something we'll do for the kids you know uh, we don't. Want, we, we just want to do that. That's my dream. So that's what I'm working on. I'm funny world. Uh, Disney in Ghana. Disney land in Ghana. Yeah, so is it just going to be some fun, exciting, or you have yeah, people talking to the kids? Fun. It's a whole big project. You know that's why I need investors 
you know, it's because it's big money. The kind of money I have, we are looking at millions of dollars. You know, my money is not close to 10,000, 10 million dollars. 10 million dollars for the KISS project? Yeah, you know, we are looking at a big project, so, yeah. Did you do the calculation? I did my calculation yesterday. <laughs> when it comes to social media, you are one of the comedians with so much following on social media. Uh, are you leveraging on that to perhaps make some income? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leveraging on that because I like this English, leveraging. I'm leveraging on it because at the end of the day, you know what you do, the leverage is a leverage. Because I'm going to explain. I can't what you mean. <laughs> well, speaking about funny face, you know, he's been trending all week. Yeah, about, you know, some two minutes thing. Yeah, he says that he's not a two minutes man. I mean, it's as simple as that. Funny face says, well, I am not a two minutes man. If my wife or my ex-wife is saying that I'm a two minutes man, I'm not. If you like, bring your wives, bring your girlfriends. He will put the fear of the Lord in them. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, try harder. This is too cheap. Try harder. What did you say about your 60 something years old ex-husband? You sell worse things. Try harder. Eh? Today I'm irresponsible. Yet I bought you a 500 million car. Today I'm irresponsible. Yet I placed you as the financial controller of all the funny face project. <laughs> Where did the money go? I said. <laughs> oh, and so the boys, oh, oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can bring your girlfriends. I will minister to their soul and testify to their life will never. <laughs> My sister, try harder. All right, that was funny face for you. I hope that we will not talk about this anymore because, yeah, well, there are so many things happening, you know, in Ghana. We don't really want to talk about two minutes or whatever minute it is. I mean, we really don't want to go back to that ever again. No, 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 no not in the history of entertainment. Let's move away and talk movies now. We're trying to save the movie industry. Guess who is trying to save the movie industry? Yvonne Nelson. She thinks that the movie industry is dying or is, is already dead and she is trying to resurrect it by you know getting signatures from industry players and everybody who is involved uh, so that they could petition government so uh, governments could help the failing movie industry Yvonne Nelson everybody I am getting married <coughs> Who is this man that is about to make the biggest mistake of his life? One who even for all the ivory tusks in the Gambia would prefer me to you. The actress has announced on social media that she has started the hashtag Save the GH Movie Industry campaign with some movie industry stakeholders known together as United Ghanaian Filmmakers to gather as much signatures as possible to petition government on the current poor state of the movie industry and how government can help bring back the vibrant movie industry like it used to be. The Hills and Sneakers actress is calling on all who have any stake or interest in the movie industry to be part of the positive movement to make Ghanaian movie active and relevant again. She posted on Instagram, quote, Hello everyone, this is a call in the right direction. With unity and teamwork, the dream will always come true. For God and country, I humbly ask all stakeholders in the Ghanaian movie industry, actors, upcoming actors, crew members, avid Ghanaian movie watchers, etc., to help us present our petition to the government of our beautiful country, Ghana. This is for us. This is for our failing movie industry. Kindly locate a petition form at these various locations and pen down a few details all we need are signatures to express the passion we all have for the movie industry and how far we'll go to bring it back to life. Hashtag save the JH movie industry. Unquote. I'm looking for someone. His name is Johnny. You know him? Me self I look for Bob Mali. Oh, you're from Yvonne Nelson. Let's talk about EL. EL, baby. Well, rapper EL says that um, he
he is single he has been single for two years so uh, to all the ladies out there if you are actually interested in EL you can bring your you know applications right here uh, to let's talk entertainment we will send it to EL because he is so single I'm not sure he's searching though but well we'll make it work EL says that a uh, long distance actually made uh, his relationship uh, some, like it spoils everything altogether for him so uh, you know he's single and he's not searching he didn't mention that he's searching he was speaking on uh, drive time with Lexus Bill um smart intelligent uh, understanding okay you know especially my career it's it's very volatile you have to move a lot mm. and to find somebody who can understand you and, 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 and know that you are a thousand miles away being faithful for th to them but it's, would you it's actually different oh, of course yeah, I'm a very, i've never cheated on on anybody who i've gone out with ever in my life ever. Ah. yeah yeah so if how, i'm how, if how I'm long have you been single committed relationship how long have you been single i've been single for almost two years now almost two years yeah what 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 made you break up distance. what distance distance yeah okay long distance relationships are hard i understand okay. so yeah I know so you have to break up and for and for the two years you've not found anybody close to you close uh, to a break close to China side okay. dry old <laughs> <laughs>
on Let's Talk Entertainment. Becca, uh, we wish you all the best in everything that you do. And we pray that your unveiling album comes out, you know, big as you uh, expected it. Let's move away and talk about Ohima Mercy. I appreciate that woman a lot. She's so sweet. And she turned 40. Yeah, she turned 40 uh, during the week. And of course, we were there to support her. Uh, she actually went to donate to, you know, a foster home somewhere around Adenta. And of course, we were there to support him and Mercy. Friends were there. And we came out with this one for you. The music industry, the gospel music industry. Really? You, yeah, you were always on point, and you know this woman is good, blah blah blah. So it got people asking, how did you manage to, you know, be able to keep yourself up to this point? I started with my husband, and my husband has been one of the pillars that has really, really taught me how to manage myself, how to be disciplined, and how to behave, especially when I'm in the public how to interact with people. And I thank God for his life because he alone with me is more than a million around me. And I thank God that if you see on him my mercy um, up to this level, uh, one of the people that has really, really impacted so much in my life is my husband. I have wonderful men of God who um, in one way or the other calls me especially um, Dr. Anthony Kujo of ICGC Calvary Temple. I love that man because he really, really sees the, 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 the vision. He, he's, he sees everything in me as, as, as so powerful. And sometimes when I sit down with him and the kind of things he tells me that God has revealed to him about me, it's so amazing. And so he doesn't joke around me at all. I have my father, Sam Kanchiankra, and one wonderful man God has blessed me so much with is Reverend Abraham Yamdi and the wife, Reverend Kofi Dro. I have wonderful, wonderful men of God around me that really, really help me. So, um, if I hear my mercy, has no issues. I must confess, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I love it when um, I have my fans coming around me to tell me, Mommy, um, there's something you are doing I don't like. It makes me feel so much joy in me because if I don't get them to correct me, no one would do that. After 40 years, I pray that God will use me in that area to bring people back to God and to make our ladies um, special and powerful in, in life. You see, God created a woman and a woman is so powerful. In such that if God is not on his side, the devil can use him negatively with the, with the power God has bestowed on you. So I'm praying that God will use me in that area to affect lives. Thank you so much. We wish you all the best and happy, happy, happy birthday. But you know, I told you about an adopted son that uh, Ohima Messi had here, right here at the first. What was your name again? My name is Pabna Victor Ba. Mm. Pabna, tell me, what, what can you tell us about Ohima Messi? She just presented to you, you know, so many things here uh, on her birthday. What can you say to her? What I will say to her is that God richly bless her and all what she's doing, she should know that one day somebody too will do the same thing to her. The way people bless us with their lives, one day God to pay them back. As I'm now standing here to speak to um, Joy Prime or whatever, I hope that God is also listening to us here. And I know God is going to bless Ohima Mercy, make her great, help her in all what her needs are, help her when she's facing problems and many more. Thank you. Thank you. Do you, have, do you know any of her songs? Yeah. Um, we used to, but now um, we don't get uh, things to listen to it, but I hope we will get something like um, an instrument of it whenever we meet her again. Okay. And God will really bless her and everyone who came here. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So, we've been talking to Ohima Messi right here on Joy News on Multi. Mama V loves you. You, oh, you she, she, she just, you know, Mama V. Isn't I have is one of the um, ladies that really love my ministry. And she has passion of, Oima, I want you to be there. I love you too, Mama V. 
I really, really appreciate every bit of advice you've given me. God bless you so much. As part of celebrating her 40th birthday, gospel diva Ohima Mercy donated some items to Christ Faith Foster Home in Adenta. Together with her team and some close friends, the musician presented items such as books, school supplies, food and drinks, bag of rice, toiletries, and undisclosed amount of money to the home. Speaking to Ohima, she said she is grateful to God for adding another year to her life. Well, it was a shock to many to hear them 40 years. What can I say? It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's not easy though. I've been through a lot. Uh, I've, I've cried before. I've smiled before. And I know there are greater things ahead of me. So 40 years are a joke for me. It's a blessing. Edu Amwako is one of the teachers at Christ Faith Foster Home. I'm very much overwhelmed of what she, she has done. So I don't know how to put it. I'm very overwhelmed. What he has done is very great. And I pray that God continue to bless him, bless her, so that he moves forward in life. Some friends and family members shared fond memories of the Ahima Mercy they know. There is this thing we always say, life begins at 40. So what will you be doing till 40? So now we can see what Ahima Mercy, by giving her life and everything to Christ, at 40, what the Lord has done for her. So I realized that it is quite important to support her in whatever she's doing. And you know what she's come to do here today, you can imagine if all of us do say, the change will bring into society. I have admired her for a very long time till I got very close to her about two years ago. And I, let me tell you, even as a politician, when all these prophets went on and on about how I've won the elections completely, my mom Messi was the only person who came for a concert in my constituency. Looked me in the eye after she did her what a performance and everything and told me, listen, this thing is not going to go well. This is not the direction the Lord wants you to go. But let's finish it. When we finish, the Lord himself will give you a direction. And she was the only single bold person at that time. And it came to pass. First of all, Ahima calls me mother. And so I'm her spiritual mother. And I want to say that Ohima is unique she has a heart for god and for her doing this is it comes as no surprise because she has um mankind at heart and she's not just an artist she's a minister of the gospel and that's what we are called to do to reach out to the less privileged and to the poor and so for me this is a great great initiative and ohima at 40 i just want to tell ohima this is a huge milestone she has achieved so the man behind the ohima mercy <coughs> ministry if you're looking for the man who they say that you know behind every successful man there's a woman but this time behind every successful woman there's a man and the man uh, is mr chum ampofo he is the husband of ohima messi and he actually takes care of everything ohima messi he's a ceo of ohima messi's ministry and you know every oh okay well you heard that and today you guys decided to come celebrate you know 40 years her 40th anniversary 40th birthday here at uh, this particular foster home um what can you say about ohima mess you know her better than you know the rest of the people um i would say that um, we just thank god for a life such as hers because it's been a life of impartations um, blessing to people and like you have seen today this is not the first time we've been here we do this every other day we come in and, and give to them whenever we have something in our hands we just buy something for this home um, we are believing god that we can be doing this over and over until um, she's called to eternity <laughs> Once again, happy belated birthday to you, Ohima Mercy. We appreciate you right back here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Thank you so much for all the opportunities. Thank you so much for, you know, always being there for us. Let's Talk Entertainment. We appreciate you, God. 
richly bless you. Let's move away and talk about the Hit FM Homawa Street vibes. They took it to Teshi, and of course, I mean, we had a couple of performances from some of our biggest stars in the music industry. And of course, we're bringing it right back to you here on the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. If you've missed all the highlights during the week, here is an opportunity for you to, you know, relieve all the entertainment that Hit FM can provide you. <laughs> Say pull up slap we on every street pull up every time girl we can stop up and tap me again them that one and them pull up send me to you e be your word hey let's go fast it's a fast man little of the night not me frefre be worry me please say yes me dominate to say those players girl see the be able so so buy na ka perfect in all those the way to a man's heart, his stomach, his own heart, in here. Yeah. Hey, come on, up, sir. Up, sir. Up, sir. Okay, Echo, and you, and that. What I say, more. You say, fire, more. Oh, my ass, oh, hey. Brrr. Them man, they're bad. Chow. Them man, they're bad. Chow. Them man, they're bad. We understand when I say them bad. Who put your quietness of a damn girl? Who put it? Chalk it, kind of music, my block it. You baby melody in my flog it, be a bag of money, super job, my clock it. All right, those were some highlights from the Hit FM Street Jam. I'm talking about the Homo Street Jam. Uh, you should watch out for you know the street jams put together by Hit FM uh, around your area. We might you know be coming to your area, so you should watch out. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, do you think we missed something? No, we didn't miss anything. We didn't miss anything. And I'm sure uh, it's a nice way to end a Let's Talk Entertainment, the weekend edition right here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. Uh, we come your way every weekend, you know, for your credible entertainment news. We are always here to deliver unto you the best entertainment news on TV. I'd like to say a very big thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you for sticking with Let's Talk Entertainment all the time. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much, Dinah, Dinah Hamilton. I'll mention your name everywhere. For the beautiful shoes i love it i really really appreciate it uh thank you so much everyone thank you ike thank you you know for sticking with us throughout the week we really really appreciate you my name is becky join me same time next weekend for even more exciting edition of let's talk entertainment until next weekend ciao